Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and today we're gonna try out this new air fryer unit, all right? Now last week we did the burger, we just did it on the flat top. Today, we're gonna use a little bit of the flat top, for, not for very much, but we're gonna use the air fryer. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a venison meatloaf. You can do it with regular ground beef if you want, doesn't matter. Uh, reason why I'm doing venison is uh, yesterday we had a little little gathering, very small. We practiced social distancing, okay, uh, for my little girl's birthday. Uh, Big Mike came rolling in, gave me some venison that uh, that he wanted me to use. He's wanting me to use it there, and he came use it at the party. Uh, he came in late, ended up didn't use it. So he said, "Man, he said, well, maybe we can make a meatloaf out of it, man." And he really liked that whiskey burger seasoning that we use on them burgers. Maggie. Um, so he said, man, that'd be good in a meatloaf. And so here we are. I'm going to make a meatloaf and I'm going to make it in the air fryer unit. Okay. So without further ado, let's get to the ingredients and then let's get to making this meatloaf y'all. All right, let's get to it. All right. So ingredients for our meatloaf is as follows. We got about a pound of venison, a little bit over. Um, I got a cup of breadcrumbs. That's uh, garlic powder, black pepper, that's that whiskey burger seasoning, two eggs. I got about a little over a quarter cup of uh, yellow onions. I got a little bit of uh, red pepper, some bacon. Bacon's a little sparse around these day parts. Everybody's buying up all the bacon, so I had to buy some like cheap bacon. So don't be, don't be messing with me. I got a half a cup of milk, some washer sister sauce, I got some tomato ketchup, and I'm going to top it with some of this Blues Hog. Um, I'm going to top it with some of this Blues Hog uh, barbecue sauce, and that's it. We're just going to mix it up in this bowl right here, and we're going to put it in the air fryer. Sounds like a, sounds like a plan. All right, all right, y'all. So uh, one thing I forgot, didn't even think about it, but I do like to um, I like to sauté my onions and my peppers before. So I got this side right here, getting warm on the black stone. Um, and then we're just gonna, we're gonna put these, we're gonna sweat these off, okay? And that's just, the reason why I do it is sometimes you, in meatloafs you'll get, um, you know, a piece of onion that hadn't really cooked through. This right here makes sure it's nice and soft, okay? Meatloaf. Pretty simple, everybody has their own, okay? So we're just going to, uh, I'm just gonna put all this into here. Everybody in. So I'm gonna take my milk mixture and I'm gonna go ahead and put my egg in there. And then I'm going to stir that up. Also, this is a good place to put your wash your sister sauce. Okay. I didn't add any salt to that because the whiskey burger seasoning has a good, good fair amount of salt into it. Uh, I'm getting more and more used to it and finding out I don't have to add any salt to my preference. You might have to with yours. So just make sure that's nice and uh, nice and incorporated. We're gonna put a little squirt of ketchup I don't know, a couple tablespoons, okay, and then we're going to, we're going to pour this egg mixture into the venison like that, all right, so those are good, so they're nice and sweated, got them soft, that's basically all I wanted to do, okay. That's all I need of you, Mr. Blackstone Top. Thank you very much for your service. All right, close that. Now, use these bad boys, okay? Let's mix this up. You don't wanna over mix it, but you know, you wanna, you wanna get in there and get make sure everything, everybody has a purpose, okay? My brother said, he said, I want you to do this meatloaf. He said, because Toven haven't hasn't done it yet. He wanted me to 
He wanted me to beat beat Todd. <laughs> Since he is the venison man, he does a lot of venison dishes. Um, so anyhow, he Big Mike wanted me to get it out there before Todd did. All right. Nice and incorporated. Put that onto some aluminum foil. Try to form this as best as possible. I'd say that looks pretty good. Here we go. Okay, now I wanna go wash my hands. I'll be right back. All right, I wanna, I wanna dust this top with some more of this whiskey burger because when I want Big Mike to try some of this I want him to make sure he gets plenty of this whiskey burger the bacon this is a poor excuse for bacon but it's all right I didn't bring but four strips so I'm just gonna come over just like that Come over just like that. The bacon is kind of here for help. What the the venison can be, you know, venison can be kind of uh, you know lean. Now the boys did cut this with, uh, I think they cut it with ribeye fat whenever they, um, whenever they butchered this up. So. So it does have some good fat in it, but uh, in general, you know, venison is kind of lean. All right, all right. So I wanna take one of our trusty air fryer units here. All right. I am going to plop this bad boy in there like that. Hopefully air can circulate well, I think it will. And the good thing is, is I've kind of formed a well with that aluminum foil, so the grease, what grease does come out, um, it, it stays kind of in that aluminum foil. So as you can see, so that's kind of, kind of what we're looking at right there. Now, <clears throat> I might take, sprinkle a little bit of this whiskey burger on top of that bacon. Not much. And then I'm gonna let this go for probably I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna put this blues hog sauce on top. It's gonna it's gonna really set on that bacon. It's gonna make it good. Alright? Let's get this in. Hey Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. So I got I got the air fryer, I got it on low. Low is 300 to 375. So that's typically what a meatloaf goes to. And we wanna temp it. Uh, we're going to tip it with our thermopin, set my timer for 25 minutes. Let's see where we're at then, and then we'll worry about our sauce next for the top of that bacon. All right. All right. Check back. All right. So <clears throat> been 25 minutes. Let's see where our meatloaf is. I'd say it's looking pretty good. Let's see where it is temperature wise. It's only 109 degrees right now, so still needs a good little... I don't know. I don't know how much longer. I'm gonna go another 25 minutes. All right, set a timer for 25 minutes. I'm also gonna go get a brush. I'm gonna brush on some of this blues hog, all right? Let's see about where we're at here. Brush on some of this. Just gonna pour some of this on. Paint it. I should give a nice, nice shiny appearance. There we are. All right, we're gonna go for another 25 minutes. All right, folks, hey, welcome back. It's been about 50 minutes total, and we're ready to look, see what this meatloaf looks like. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, that looks good. I'm gonna lift this bad boy up. out of the air fryer unit. I wanna try to drain some of this 
juice off, some of this fat. And then what I might do is crank up the air fryer and really, really set that top. But it's pretty dang set right now. Look at that. Man, boy, that's looking good right there. Boy, that's looking good. Would you look at that? Boy, it looks real good. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this blues hog on there. All right, now, I'm gonna put it back in there. I'll put it back in there. I'm gonna crank up the temperature. Five minutes, and that's it, all right? Five minutes. Come right back. All right, let's get this thing out. It looks good. I mean, really, really good. Man, that thing really set on top. Um, now, I will be honest with you, I didn't wait five minutes. It was only probably two. <laughs> I just didn't want to wait anymore. Look at that beauty right there. Bam. That's a beautiful thing right there, y'all. Right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is, look at that thing, that thing's jiggly. I'm just gonna cut off a piece of this end, hot. But it is staying together. Look at that steam, golly. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that's very moist. I taste that sweetness of that blues hog on first with the bacon and that's kind of whoop, the crazy dog uh, you know the bacon has its you know kind of smoky goodness mm. that's good that's a good meatloaf Very, very moist. Well, y'all, I appreciate you tuning in to my very first air fryer cook. Um, it's kind of un unordinary. I've done a meatloaf a couple weeks back, but this is a little bit different. While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna cut this thing off. Cause I forget my Blackstone on all the time. Uh, so yeah, give this a try. Don't have to use, don't have to use an air fryer. You can use your oven as well for this recipe. doesn't matter. But uh, I just want to say thank you. I love you. And until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. <music>